Reports show that the US M2 Bradley fighting vehicles delivered to Ukraine have suffered heavy losses on the battlefield. According to the New York Times, Ukraine's 47 mechanized brigade lost 30% of its Bradleys in just two weeks. The first images of the heavily damaged vehicles in the battle along with the Leopard 2A6 tank supplied by Germany appeared in early June. The losses on the battlefield forced the Ukrainian army to upgrade the armor for the US supply M2A2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle. Notable upgrades include the addition of the explosive reactive ammo module in the Bradley reactive ammo tires or bread, which is designed to neutralize the impact of anti-tank weapons. The protection kit, or bread, was developed in collaboration between American defense company General Dynamics and Israeli Rafael. It is designed to protect armor vehicles from modern anti-tank weapons, including grenade launchers and anti-tank systems. The manufacturers do not disclose its exact specifications. The protection kit has several versions and is produced in the form of hinged containers installed on the American Bradley IFV's frontal part of the hull, as well as on the sides and turret. The kit is installed on the IFE for additional protection in the combat zone. The US military used Bradley IFEs with brass in Iraq, Afghanistan, and even now in Syria. These reactive ammo modules are installed on a special frame, which is mounted over the main armor of the IFV. They should increase the survivability of combat vehicles during the Ukrainian offensive, which is now ongoing in various parts of the Russian-Ukrainian war front. Ukraine's armed forces are facing a major threat from anti-tank guided missiles and mines. The new kit will provide reliable protection against these threats. Despite the damage, the Bradleys proved to be protective and some of the damaged vehicles were repaired and then returned to the battlefield quickly. The Pentagon has committed to provide 190 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine. It is likely that the US itself proposed to install a complete Brad upgrade package on these ammo vehicles. The components of the armor upgrade pack are made from a variety of materials, including steel, aluminum, and composite. The exact composition of the armor is there a secret, but it is revealed to include a combination of steel and ceramic materials. The Bradley hull is made from aluminum, providing a good balance between strength and weight. The IFV has many advanced electronics, including a thermal emitter and a lasering spider that help identify and aim accurately at a variety of targets in urban environments. Currently, there is a Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle that has survived after being directly hit by a 125mm shell F-80-72 tank showing that the armor upgrade packages are extremely effective.